A critical area of unmet need in biochemically recurrent and actually metastatic prostate cancer is the development of novel treatments in order to help effectively care for cancer while minimizing side effects. So darolutamide is a unique drug in that it's hypothesized to have less penetration of the blood-brain barrier, effectively being exposed to the central nervous system to a lesser degree. Under this hypothesis, we believe that the associated surge in testosterone associated with androgen receptor antagonist monotherapy may be less, resulting in a different, hopefully better side effect profile to similar tr approaches such as Casadex, uh, which is a first generation air antagonist, and more importantly, enzalutamide, which has recently been approved for monotherapy uh, under the Embark trial. So we developed a clinical trial uh, utilizing darolutamide as monotherapy and uh, it's administered to men with biochemically relapsed prostate cancer after prostatectomy uh, with salvage uh, or adjuvant radiation or just radiation as primary therapy. And the primary endpoint that we set for the study uh, is actually the testosterone change at three months. Again, testing that hypothesis about the biological effect of the drug on testosterone modulation. So there's a second component to the study that we will move forward with if um, we uh, deem fit after results of that lead in single arm uh, component. And in the second arm, we will, or the second phase, we will be comparing enzalutamide as monotherapy to darolutamide as monotherapy, again, setting that testosterone change as our primary endpoint amongst a series of other secondary endpoints, including PSA response, multiple metrics of uh, quality of life and symptom symptomatology, amongst other things like bone health um, and metabolic markers.